What up, everybody? Real quick, Speedy ePhoto, 10% off discount going on through August 6th, developing scanning. They do it all. If you want to receive the discount information on how to do so is in the description. Also, a few people from the film photography community are going hiking on August 7th. It's a community hike day. If you want to join, if you want to get outside, check out a cool alpine lake up here in Washington, check out the info in the description. We'd love to have you. Anyway, this video, it's, uh, it's a vlog. It's loose. There's a lot of shenanigans and a good amount of swearing. So if you're not into that stuff, I'd probably skip this one. But yeah, Alicia and I, a few weeks back, road tripped to Boise, Idaho to help her brother Sam move apartments. I brought my camera, brought my Pentax 672, shot a couple rolls of portrait through it while I was over there. But I would say that this video is kind of more about the experience than it is the picture taking. Nonetheless, I sincerely hope that you guys enjoy. I am so f***ing hot in this f***ing house. What highway is this? Do you know? Yeah, whatever. Muckleteo, California. Well, this is kind of a random place to start a video, but Alicia and I are road tripping to Boise, Idaho right now. And we're in the middle of Washington, just on a back road. And came over the crest. Full moon just popping out like I've never seen it before. Absolutely beautiful. So we pulled off a little uh, side road here. Whipped out the Pentax and hopefully gonna get a little long exposure once it pokes out the other side of the uh, the cloud there. But so peaceful out here. Dude, I don't know why, but I'm so challenged. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Dude, Pentax 672 screen is so much brighter. People were like, it's not that much brighter. Bro, it's way, way brighter. Dude, that's gonna be cool with the clouds, actually. Get it right after it pokes out of the clothes. Need to get my shutter cable. All right, so I'm just completely freeballing this uh, exposure time. Don't even have my phone to time it. I'm just gonna use the Earth's rotation, and I got Orion's belt up there at north, 47 degrees. So I can reverse calculate that, and then I know that after the after uh, 2x plus seven, that's gonna give me about 10.3 seconds, and that's. That's actually a very familiar number to me because that's about how long I last in bed. You know, for using Orion's belt to calculate the exposure time on this picture, I actually think it turned out pretty solid. Now I'd be lying to you if I told you that I didn't have to edit this bad boy a bit in Lightroom to get it to where I wanted it to be, but I'm no film purist so I don't give a shit how much you edit your film pictures. Now I think the main point of interest in this photo is definitely the clouds. They add depth, they add contrast, and really they just add something to look at. Without the clouds, I think this picture would be very, very bland. You also get that beautiful, deep, rich blue color in the sky that I think is only possible when shooting on film. Now, a lot of people might look at this and be like, hey, half the frame just cuts out at the bottom. What's the deal? Well, that's the horizon line. I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of different, but I can definitely see how some people might just hate this picture and all of its guts. All right, we're in Hermiston, Oregon. This is where we're spending the night for night one. I was driving through the town, or Alicia was driving through the town. I was watching the town looking for pictures. Call me a film photographer, but I spotted this bad boy scene right here. A tire shot with tires outside under some, what's this, what's that temperature like? Daylight? Haven't shot anything like this in a long time, but you know, when something catches my eye, I'm not gonna second guess it. No shutter cable. All right, so this particular scene is actually bright enough where I can get a pretty accurate reading right here on my phone. So I'm just going to do this. And if you're not familiar with the app that I use it's called My Light Meter Pro, ever since I started film photography, it's probably the number one question I've gotten in regards to film photography. What light meter app do you use? My Light Meter Pro. So just kind of grabbing 
few different readings here. I'm getting anywhere from one fourth to a third to a half to 1.3. So I think I'm gonna shoot this at one half. That should give give me a good middle ground. It's about uh, about the mid-tone range, so F8, one half of a second. This one I'm getting one eighth, one six, one third. I think one fourth is where I'm gonna put this one. Oh, look at that, my internal meter's even saying one fourth. Dude, fucking, I love this camera. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the hotel room. Just stopped off at a 7-Eleven before we got here. Grabbed some snacks, some beverages. Alicia spotted something that I've been waiting for for a very long time. The Topo Chico hard seltzer. Now, I don't drink anymore, really, but I have been long wanting to try the Topo Chico, Topo Chico, the Topo Chico Hard seltzer. I'm gonna rip a pineapple and I figured one for each of us or are we having like five each? I'm fucking sideways. Not yet, but we're about to be. Ladies and gentlemen, cheers to a good road trip, cheers to a good time and cheers to life. That's pretty fucking good. This is called efficiency here, Alicia. Learn to love it or get the fuck out. Tangy lemon lime. Pretty fucking good. Tropical mango, ladies and gentlemen. One sip, everybody knows the rules. Not bad, but definitely not the best. I hate this one, I'll be honest. All right, we're gonna grab one more picture tonight. Let's see, we hit the, we hit the tire shop. We're about to hit the indoor old vintage hotel room nostalgic vibes to complete the trifecta i should have gotten a picture of a gas station i don't know what i was doing i actually am liking the looks of this composition it looks pretty nice I already eyeballed it with my eyes so i kind of know what what i'm looking for here f8 two seconds mirror up yeah pretty good I do. Mm. Nothing like kickstarting your day with a good old McDanker's breakfast. Their hash browns do slap though. Cheers. All right, well, no better way to uh, kick off our time at Boise than with a little bridge jump. Gotta climb over this bad boy. We saw some kids hanging off the railing of a bridge while we were driving on the highway, so Pulled over, checked out the old Google Maps, and uh, found out how to get over here. So, go see what this is all about. I mean, it's not too big. It's like 90 feet. I mean, don't do it there. to beat jumping off a bridge. It's no better feeling. That bridge was deceivingly high though. Stood up at the top of the railing and oh, got the little shake, stanky shanky leg going on, you know, a little bit, but no, it was fun. And the scariest part is honestly like climbing up those structures. Cause then you're like, if you fall off, then you're like really dead. But if you fall off while you're up there at top, on the top and you're in position, then you're like gonna probably fall off into the water and like puncture a lung that you probably won't die, so that's chill. But uh, yeah, it's so fun just hanging out by the bridge and like seeing the kiddos, you know, brings me right back to my childhood, even though I'm still kind of a child, but uh, oh, I'm gonna change and I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then uh, yeah, we hit, hit the hotel and 
maybe explore Boise a little bit or something. Chicken tacos and fries. How are we feeling about it? Oh, I can't even hear you. <laughs> Cheerio. Good to be here. The pineapple does slap. Wow. Uh, we are at now the Lucky Lake, Lucky Point, what is it? Lucky Peak. Lucky Peak Lake with Alicia's brother who we helped move out of his house today. That's the reason why we came to Boise and it was a bitch let me tell you. But we're reward we are rewarding ourselves now with a plunge in the lake here and I couldn't be more thrilled. Dude, Alicia's turning into the best filmer. Sam's showing us the locals only spot. That's where that's where you can launch, right yeah, there? Oh, that's it. fucking sick. Dude, there's a little legit natural diving board off that rock. Look at that. Awesome. Well, one of my hopes for this summer is to shoot a little bit more cliff jumping. It's a uh, long lost love of mine that I want to get back into. And to uh, combine it with some film photography, that'd be pretty fun. So, got Sam right behind me, about to take the inaugural jump off of this beautiful, uh, beautiful rock. Okay. Yeah. Well, I start every sentence with all right when I do this shit. Mm -hmm. All right, we have finished moving this kid out of his house. It took... What's his name? I said his name earlier, yeah. Sam. It's been 100 degrees all day. I don't know how you Boise sons of bitches do it. Sam's mobbing us up to a cool lookout, apparently, to catch sunset, so I'm gonna have a good last night here in Boise. But man, I'm dead. Oh, here we go. This is so classic. Oh, there. Well, we concluded our trip to Boise with the beautiful sunset up here on Table Rock Mountain. Sam showed us this beautiful spot to watch the sunset, super vibrant, super beautiful. And overall, it was a super fun trip. Got a little bridge jump in right when we got here. Checked out a couple really cool spots. Got a little cliff jump in too. And hopefully we got some cool pictures. So really can't complain. Fun way to spend the long weekend. And yeah, Boise, Idaho. Is it really hidden? Can you say it's a hidden gem? Probably not. But it's an up and coming gem. Check it out if you ever get the chance.
Holy shit, you're still watching? If you stuck around this long, there, there might be something wrong with you. I'm just kidding, of course. If you made it till the very end, thank you very much. It is, it is greatly appreciated. If I had a million dollars to give to each and every one of you, I would. But until that day comes, I hope a little bonus picture is good enough. Snapped this one on Alicia and I's drive back from Boise. And it might be my favorite from the entire road trip. I'm not really sure why. I think it's got something to do with the simplicity and color palette or some shit. But yeah, I liked it and I uh, wanted to share it here at the end with y'all. All right. Thanks for, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until I see you next time. I'll uh, see you next time. I get. I don't fucking. Well, that was weird. All right. Bye.